In the Chicagoland area, south of the city, is a town called Oak Forest. And that's where you can find an awesome coin shop run by my friend, Sherry. She's going to talk all about gold. And if you enjoy coin shop videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you appreciate the effort, hit that like. <laughs> All right, Sherry, how's it going? IT, how are you? It's, By the way, congratulations, 20,000. That is huge. Oh, man. Who knew? On, oh, my God. On OnlyFans, doing your foot pics would be so amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's in large part due to you, Sherry. So no, thank you for your willingness to come on here and make videos with me I, and talk about to, silver and gold. and. So. It's been a blast, and yes. thanks for being a huge part of it. Well, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, when I pulled up, you know, gold is going through the roof lately. It's really, really climbing. I assume that your brand new Cadillac is parked at home because I didn't see it in the parking lot here. Let's tell the oh, truth about gold. You're getting rich now because yeah, no. gold is I buy and sell. I buy and sell. I buy and sell. You know, so that's, that's all it is. Everybody's assumption that gold is way up that makes you know your business go through the roof as no, well. No, no, no. Um, retail public is not buying gold right now. They're selling a lot of ah, selling going on. Okay. Okay. So nobody's really buying. Okay. So I mean, it's been tough being able to to do anything like that. They're just, they're just not coming in and asking for anything. So. So you kind of touched on uh, something uh, just a second ago. Um, you're buying and selling, buying and selling. Mm -hmm. You're not sitting on a mountain of gold like, you know, Scrooge McDuck. I am in I'm a business person. I'm not a stacker uh -huh. okay, as far as that is concerned. If you're going to be in this type of a business, mm -hmm. you cannot afford to be a stacker. Right. right? Unless you, you have the funds available to hold, you know, a million or two million or three million dollars worth of gold and silver. Great. Good for you. Okay. I'm not in that business. I buy and sell. Okay. You and so sell. you may... A small amount of money right. on a large amount of tr uh, transactions, right. and that's how you make your money, right. rather than trying to speculate and yeah, yeah, hold no, it for I'm two not, years I'm or not three a years. Yeah, um, let's talk a little bit about gold because I mean, people are buying it at Costco now. People yeah. are, you know, you know, th talking more. It's, it's kitchen Sam's, table talk Sam's now. Club. You can buy it through their website, Costco through their website. Mm -hmm. um, I think Walmart, any of those, they all have. It's all on their secret website pages. So yeah, so people in general are talking more mm -hmm. about gold than they were, you know, a, a year ago. That's for sure. Um, let's talk a little bit about American Gold Eagles, one tenth, one quarter, one half, one ounce sizes. Uh, what do people buy more of? Uh, right now, probably one ounce. Okay. Because they don't want to pay those big premiums. Yeah. I mean, the smaller sizes you go, the more of a premium you're going to pay. It, it, it has nothing to do with me. It's the U.S. government that charges it that way also. You go right on their website and you can see that. You know, right. They charge for that stuff. So uh, people will tend to save up and buy right. one ounce. Buy one ounce versus you? buying, t I mean, to buy 10 10 ounce versus buying one one ounce, you're still paying that huge premium on the 10 ounce even though it adds up to one ounce of gold. So that doesn't save you any money doing right. it. Yeah, and so it makes sense if you can right. to save up. Right. But uh, a lot of people can't do it that way. They yeah. can only afford to get a tenth of an ounce at a time, which is fine. Yeah, I'm not bashing anybody for it, but my advice is always try and save up for the biggest that you can get because of the premium that you pay on it. I'm kind of in that category, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, <laughs> having kids and yeah. raising yeah. a family, you know, it seems like it's really hard to put. Yeah. There's only so much. Twenty two hundred bucks in an envelope right. without. Sign ups for a sports team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, a birthday comes up. A this, a that, and yeah, everything Christings, else. Christmas, birthdays, holidays. You you name it. You know. Yeah. Another wedding. Oh my God. You know. There's always something. So. Yeah. Kid so, needs new shoes. Oh, he's playing soccer. He needs special cleats. <laughs> yep. So you know. Yeah, so know. that's kind of my philosophy. Right. Buy what you can when you right. can. Opinions on foreign gold versus American gold eagles. Obviously, American gold eagles is like the standard. Right. But, you know, I like to deviate and pick up some foreign. Uh, right. Well, I get, I get customers who will definitely save the premium in buying, you know, foreign gold. When you get into, you know, like pandas and Austria and Philharmonic stuff and mm -hmm. Great Britain stuff and all that, 
I mean, it's all cute and everything. You pay a little bit less of a premium on it, but. So the philosophy there is gold is gold, gold, is gold. Right. and get what you can. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to save a couple bucks by buying foreign, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Most definitely. Okay. How about the flip side of that, Sherry? Selling gold. Let's go back to that one ounce size, just for the sake of argument. You said that the premium on sell, someone- I sell it anywhere from three to 5% over, over, depending on the quantity. Over that, that right. the spot price. Right, and on the buy, I'm anywhere from 1% to 99%. So like- Plus 1% well, plus to 99%. Right. Okay, so really low margins. Oh yeah, you're, you're yeah. like right hovering right around that spot price, whatever right. it is on that day. Right. You're selling a little bit above. You're buying back a little bit below, and the margin is your profit. And you right. got to keep the lights on and run a business. So you yeah, people tend to forget. You know, that <laughs> this the, this doesn't all come free. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if you bought a piece at two thousand dollars, you shouldn't expect to come back and sell it. A week later for the exact same amount of money uh, maybe you know, a, if, go, if gold goes up great okay. oh that's true that that's is true, true. Yeah. if gold goes down i'm sorry you yeah. know I, I have no control over any of that yeah so, so people should look at spot price right. just google gold spot price right. and that'll give them a good idea right. how about jewelry so gold always been special a lot of people aren't dealing in coins like what we're talking about but they have their own jewelry they have their inherited jewelry uh, they want to buy and if, sell yeah, and cash you have, it in. If you have a piece of jewelry that came from a family member and you love that piece of jewelry, keep it and hang on to it. Because mm -hmm. when you bring it into me, all I care about is scrap value. Yeah. So scrap value, and so grandma's wedding ring that's you know worn thin. Yeah. Uh, even though it might be very precious to you, you're just to looking me, at just what you can resell value. it to right. the refiner for. Right. Because what it, what it it's a down. worn out old ring. Right. Uh -huh. um, even and a lot of new jewelry. I mean, I, I'm uh, pretty much out of the jewelry business now too, because there are just no buyers with gold at these numbers. Yeah, people aren't buying it. Yeah. When it comes to jewelry, though. My understanding is that the biggest ripoff in jewelry happens at the mall when you God, go yeah. buy a piece, uh, you know, brand new, and for three thousand dollars, and then a year later you come in here. Uh, because and I'm telling you, it's worth 300 Exactly. Right? You well, know, you, again, I tell people all the time, and people don't realize it. When you go to the mall, and they have that nice corner spot right in the middle of the mall, yep. well, how much is their rent every month? Exactly. Okay, huge, huge. Huge order. They have insurance. They have employees. They have inventory. They have everything else, you know, to be able to keep the lights on in there. Uh -huh. So their markup is huge. Now, when you go to the mall, and they're saying, gee, we have a 70% off sale. And they can still afford that rent, those employees, mm -hmm. that insurance, everything that goes along with it. How much is their markup? Exactly. And I tell a lot of people, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. You know, this is what I will give you for it. Try and find a private bar, a private party. Uh -huh. Okay, sell it through um, Facebook Marketplace Instagram. or you know whatever. And mm -hmm. yeah, however you can do a it. Friend. That way, but <laughs> a friend, right? All right. How about timing? If somebody wants to get into gold, should they buy now? Or wait until this hot market cools down. It's whatever works for you. I have I have no advice as far as that's concerned. Again, I'm not. You don't have a crystal ball in that drawer over there. No, no, <laughs> no, no. My money tree in the backyard isn't growing anymore. So you know, no. Um, it's whenever you feel comfortable. That's uh -huh. you know, you can speculate, sit there and speculate all day long. If we knew what the markets were going to be tomorrow or next week or anything else, we wouldn't be doing this. We'd right. be living on island somewhere. Sure. So you just have to you know, when you feel comfortable. That's the time to do it. Yeah, that's my philosophy. Buy what you can when you right. can, because you never know if right. you know you hesitate. Uh, six and, months and, from now, it right. goes way up. And, and a lot of this game is cost averaging too. You know, oh yeah. You you were you may have been able you know two years ago you bought gold at you know sixteen hundred dollars an ounce. Well now gold's twenty two hundred dollars an ounce. Mm -hmm. It's all about cost averaging too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, thanks for the education on gold. There's a whole bunch of new people, you know, kind of curious about new gold. New teasters? You have new teasters? <laughs> yeah, new we teasters, do. Every yeah. seems like every <laughs> month, you know, we have a decent number of people finding our little channel and we're growing and that's a good thing. It's but amazing. It is. We're going to switch over from gold to silver because Mrs. T has a little something for you. <laughs> and guess who started 
pouring silver now. No way. Yeah. You did? Mrs. You were T. brave. I wouldn't even do that. Yeah. At yeah. 2000, she, uh, Put me behind the wheel of a car going, you know, 170 miles down a racetrack. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, will, I will do that, but I'm not standing in front of something that's going to burn me to death. No. So... Here is one of my pores that I held back for you because <gasps> I just thought of you when I saw this when it came out and we toned it. <laughs> so I just want you to, every time you look at that, you I think of me. Look, and it's a butterfly, a uh -huh. toned butterfly. Oh, yeah. Look how amazing that is, look guys. Look at the crazy color there I know. Yeah. on that butterfly. Mrs. C and I made a whole video, actually. Yep. She's the star of the video. So we'll put a little, little link in this video if anybody's curious how those but are made. You know, yeah. people ask me all the time, uh -huh. you know, yeah. well, will, will he do pours for me? I don't know. You have to contact him yourself and ask <laughs> yeah. him that question. Well, yeah. Funny you should ask. I'm not asking uh, him. Because <laughs> you ask him. <laughs> uh, funny you should ask because we're doing an auction. And for no. those people who are watching this video okay. on Saturday, April 6th, Oh, right after this video, yeah. we're doing uh, a YouTube auction. Okay. And so uh, so if you're watching, hey, come join us at 9 a.m. Central on Saturday. And I don't know if Mrs. T gets to pour this week. There yeah, might be we'll another see. piece or mm -hmm. two of hers. You feel you feeling brave? <laughs> you're doing it, really? Yeah, I love it. It, it just, it, the first couple of times was like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. It was intense. Yeah. Because it's, that's like liquid. Yeah. 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 So I mean, you get a degrees. little splash or anything, you know, and all of a sudden you drop whatever it is you're yeah, doing right. and it goes yeah. flying and everybody in the room dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's all great. <laughs> It's great. Yeah. They're all molten. Everybody's walking around. They're now like zombie covered in silver. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yes, all those things do come to mind <laughs> yeah. as you're holding that. But then they're like, oh, okay, we'll get past that. Okay, we'll okay. Make something. We were like a big suit, yeah. hazmat suit. Uh, no. We need to get her a little jumpsuit or something. I need to get something like, you know, <laughs> that's going to protect me. Okay. I do not do it in shorts or, you know, like that. <laughs> it's like grilling in shorts or frying oh, bacon. Yeah. Really? Who does that in shorts? Really? <laughs> Come on. Nobody does that. <laughs> All right, Cher. Well, hey, All we're right. going to uh, do a little shopping thank here. Thank you, Thank Thanks you. Thank time. you. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. Loves, hugs, kisses. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Sherry's awesome, and so are these channel members who support my efforts to bring you videos just like this one. And thank you for watching. Now, let me show you what I picked up over at her shop. And oh, there was some interesting silver. Uh, mo basically, the rest of this is going to go into the old silver furnace for various pours from Mrs. T and me. And I couldn't talk about gold in this video uh, without picking up a little bit myself, here's one of my favorite little pieces, a little Dos Pesos from Mexico. And if you like to see more, take a look at some of these videos I have queued up right here.